Hello, welcome to this week's blues harmonica lesson. So, yeah, as promised, we are going to follow on from the last one, which was the first of a, a multi-part um, slow blues series. Um, so yeah, we were kind of looking at, at the importance of, of thinking about how you're attacking your notes and playing dynamics and all the all the kind of effects you can get just with one note rather than thinking about playing lots of stuff. Um, so yeah, and this 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 week we're looking at the next twelve bars. What you'd be doing? So you're you're building things up a little bit more. You you haven't kind of gone for the money the money licks yet. You're not you're not building up the energy too much, but you're just you know you've gone from your very sort of simplistic lower note stuff that we did last week and building it up into something a little bit more intricate. So I'll play through the twelve bar example and then I will talk you through it lick by lick. So, one, two, three, four. <laughs> So that is your, your second 12 bars. So there, there are some cool bits and pieces in there. There, there are some, some octaves, which I think is going to be the, the big thing. This is the first time that we've really kind of started incorporating octaves into, into what we've been doing. So yeah, let's, let's play that first lick. So that first lick. <laughs> So you've got the one draw, two blow, then you're doing four draw, four draw, but you're kind of, you're starting it on a bend, you're doing that inflection thing, so you're saying kia kia on the four draw. So one, two, three, four. Put a bit of vibrato on that. Two, three, four. And you can use a bit of hand wire. And then you let that four draw turn into a bend. And then, so you're doing bend, clean four draw, then three draw and two draw. So that four draw bend, four draw clean, three draw is a little triplet. So one, two, three, boom. And that three draw, you're going to play it with just a little bit of, of that blue third on it, just bent down a little bit. So I just add a little, a little bit, just do that whole kind of call and response thing. So before you play that um, four draw bent, four draw clean, three draw triplet, you're going to play just before the fourth beat of that bar. You're going to play the five draw. So you do. So. So you're playing it on kind of three and
and then just the same off of that. So let's play those first two licks and get the timing right. So you're counting at one, two, three, four. <laughs> two, three, four. same little climb for the next lick, so one draw, two blow, and then you're going to go straight into a one four blow octave, okay, so, so remember for an octave you're tongue blocking, and what you're doing is you're putting the tip of your tongue, in this case, on the tooth that's between the two hole and the three hole, so you're wanting to cover your two hole and three hole with your tongue, tip of your tongue, and then you're going to play out of the sides of your mouth just the one hole and the four hole, a blow. So it should hopefully sound like that. And if you're finding that you're kind of getting a... kind of anything that sounds a bit weird, you're getting more holes. Just kind of fiddle around with your tongue and rearrange it and really try and get the harmonica far inside your mouth because it, it'll feel like you've got this great big thing in there and that's, that's, the, that's the right position, you know um, and you want your harmonica to kind of almost clatter against your teeth when I'm playing octaves, my, my teeth just rest on the ridge like I bite down on the harmonica, the ridge of the reed plates you get that nice, nice rich octave tone so you're doing So three draw with the bend, two draw, all on the beat. So one four blow, three draw, two draw, and then we have our famous little lick. So one draw, two blow, one draw, two blow. So one, two, three, four. So you just repeat it, you play the whole lick twice. So what, I will play through that, one, two, three, four. And then it goes into a four, five warble. Draw warble. And if you're finding it, it hard to kind of know what to do at the end of that warble to then come back into, into playing single notes, just slow it way, way, way down. Do a kind of... It's, it, you know, there's, there's a lot of kind of dynamic and emotion that you can put into a warble and you can slow it right down. You don't have to keep it at that kind of game speed the whole way through. You just slow it right down and then come off it into the two draw, three draw, three draw, two draw. So let's do that, that lick. So one, two, three, four. that lick we're then coming up to that that famous territory the five four one portion of your 12 bar blues so I'll just I'll just play through it uh, and then I'll talk you through it so one two three So I'm doing this little climb up to get to that five chord. So two draw, three draw, four blow. 
two, three. Do, do, do. You'll recognize it from when we did Sweet Home Chicago months ago. And then what you're going to do for the whole of the duration of that bar, you're going to be alternating between the four draw bent and the four draw clean. And you're going to do one and two and three and four and So for four beats, so one, two, three. And then four blow, three draw, two draw, two blow. Just on the beat. And then we get to the turnaround portion. So before we get to the turnaround, let's just play that 5-4. So the bars, where well, you're going from the 5 chord to the 4 chord. So 1, 2, 3. Then you end on that 2 draw. And then you go into the turnaround, which is the same turnaround as the turnaround we did last week. Um, but I'm adding some octaves in just to make it a little bit punchier, bigger sounding. So it'll sound like this. In fact, I'll play, I'll play the turnaround as we did it last week. And then I'll play it with the octaves so you can hear the difference. So... Okay, now with the octaves. So we're doing two draw, three draw, four draw, four blow, but instead of playing four blow, we're going to do a one four blow octave. So. Do, 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 one four blow octave. Three draw, two draw, two draw. And you're doing the two draw, two draw whole tone bend, one draw, then the one four draw octave. So it's two draw, two draw full tone bend, one draw, one four draw octave. Okay? Right. That is your full 12 bar. So I'm going to play through it one more time and uh, feel free to, to join in. So one. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. That's your full 12 bar, second portion. Uh, join me next week where we will be playing the next, which is kind of, it's going to concentrate more on the, the improvising kind of side of things because everything's been pretty structured so far. Um, and for your, your third portion, I think that's where you're going to really let rip. Uh, if, if, if you're lucky enough to be given 36 bars to, to kind of have your harmonica solo, um, then this is what you should be doing with it. Cool. Thank you for joining me. And uh, yeah, see you next time.